Hello students, welcome to the practicals on refining and petrochemical technology. Today's practical is based on the smoke point of a fuel. Now smoke point is the maximum height of the flame which burns without producing any smoke. So how to get this smoke point? Now this smoke point is generally used for your aviation fuels. So how do we get this smoke point? The entire experiment is about that. So we have an oil container. Now in this oil container we will be taking the sample of oil. In this case we are going to take kerosene. Now this oil container has a wick on the top which will be used for igniting the flame. This entire assembly of the oil container and the wick will be placed in a lamp holder. This is a lamp holder which will be having a scale inside which will be used for marking the flame, the height of the flame. And on top you will be having a chimney which will be the air vent. There will be a screw, adjusting screw at the bottom by which I can increase or decrease the height of the flame. And then I will be finding out the flame, the exact height of the flame which will be producing no smoke. Now for that we have these paper chits. So these paper chits will be, when I start with the experiment, I will be putting these paper chits on the top. Allow it to remain for some time. And then check whether this, the suit is collected on this white background. If suit is collected, then I am having smoke produced. If the suit is not collected, if this remains white, plain white, then that flame will be, or that height of the flame will be considered to be the smoke point. Now let us perform the actual experiment. Moresa will help us to perform the experiment. So over to you, Moresa. So now I've inserted the oil container in the lamp holder so I've ignited that flame you can observe the flame and the image of the flame behind because we have a mirror behind which is used for the parallax error removal which we'll see further what it is so we close the door of the lamp holder so that the flame remains stable without any air disturbance we can adjust the height of the flame with the help of the screw which is being done just now so you can increase the height of the flame turning it clockwise or anti-clockwise so this is being turned anti-clockwise the flame height increases now we'll check 
whether the smoke is coming or not by keeping the paper sheet on the top yes so we observe that it is black in color which means we have lot of soot coming out so we have to reduce the height of the flame yes so we first measure the height of the flame how much it is now we go on reducing the height again we place it on the top the scale is around 50 mm so we can increase or decrease the height in that range Yes. Now we observe that very little soot is present, slightly black in color. So we need to again refine the flame slightly, refine the height of the flame. Yes, now this we find is yes almost clear. There is no no smoke or soot produced in that. So this height we can take it as the smoke point of this fuel. So if you read the reading properly, it comes to around twenty mm. Yes, slightly greater than twenty mm. Yes, twenty two. This is twenty two mm flame. Now this also has to be seen with parallax error removal. So that comes to around twenty two mm of the height of the flame, which is the smoke point of this fuel. So that is how we read the smoke point. So depending on the components of that fuel, you will be having different smoke points. if more aromatics are present the more smokier the flame will be right so we note down the reading as 22 mm and then we analyze what kind of fuel it is right so this will be the experiment on smoke point of a petroleum fuel now let us see how we take the actual reading the flame if you observe we see two flames one is on the scale and the mirror which is provided behind now why is this mirror provided behind now this is to avoid the parallax error as we all know if we have to take the reading it should be perpendicular to our eye sight so in order to have that uh, error elimination of the error let us see how we take the reading everyone can observe the scale behind now it will be in mm that is 10 20 and so on 
so when we take the ready now we are seeing two images so what we do is we'll be adjusting our eyesight in such a way that we see only one flame the image behind is it's behind the actual flame and we are not able to see the image so once we have that condition then we'll take the reading for example in this case now we are having it is 10 now we are not we are adjusting in such a way that we'll be seeing only the flame and not the image yes so at this position it goes up to somewhere around 18 ml okay so that's how we eliminate the parallax error